Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Real Life Reviews. Today we're going to be discussing some do's and don'ts for the Oklahoma Joe Offset Highland Smoker. So let's get started. Right off the bat, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, what we do here is we do reviews, DIYs, and cooks. So I certainly appreciate you stopping by. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I just purchased my second Oklahoma Joe Offset Smoker. I had the other one for several years. And just by having that grill, I certainly have a good understanding of some do's and don'ts. So this isn't gonna be a video about modification or modifying a, a smoker. Those are all over YouTube. The first do for this smoker is to season it correctly. You wanna burn it in, as they call it in the manufacturer. You don't want to have a cook right off the bat. There's manufacturing chemicals that have to be burnt off in the beginning process, and you really should oil it and bring it up to temp appropriately. So you certainly want to season it correctly according to the manufacturer's guidelines. The second do is to always cover the grill. Now you've already spent several dollars on this grill. You need to spend a few more and purchase the grill cover that goes for it. Another do is you always want to keep your stack closed when the grill is not in use. So you're going to want to shut all of your dampers when you're done cooking and you want that temperature to kind of come down on its own. And the reason why you make sure to close the stack is because if it rains, it's going to pull rainwater down directly into the smoke chamber. A don't is never to exceed 600 degrees in the cook chamber or the firebox. If you notice these analog temperature gauges never go above 600 degrees because at 650 you're looking at doing damage to your unit. Now yes, you can sear steaks on this grill all day long. I've done hundreds of steaks on this grill, but I'm not holding a 600 degree fire for hours at a time. It's just, you know, depending on the size of the steak and depending on the thickness of the steak, it's, you know, three and a half to four minutes on one side, 600 degrees, three and a half to four minutes on the other side, 600 degrees, and then you're letting your fire calm down. This grill is not designed for those, you know, lava-like temperatures. If you want a big fire like that, get you some rocks, dig a hole, and have a bonfire in your backyard. This grill is the place for that. Another do is to clean out your ashes after every cook. A do not is clean out your ashes while they're still hot. You want your ashes to have time to cool down and you may have to do it the following morning depending on how late your cook is, but you don't want to leave ashes in there for an extended period of time. If ashes get wet or moist, then they cause corrosion, which the don't is to ever take your hot ashes out and put it in a bucket or cardboard box or a bag or something stupid like that. You need a metal receptacle in order to put hot ashes in. I'm not going to go down that road, but I'm just saying don't take hot ashes out, but don't leave ashes in your smoker for an extended period of time. You want to keep them cleaned out. Another do is to use a good gasket. I use the Oklahoma Joe gasket and um, I covered that in a little bit of my Oklahoma Joe review. Now you can get the high temp silicone. I've seen a lot of people go around the stack and the firebox and all that. I had the other Oklahoma Joe for many years. I never had smoke come out of those areas. I didn't even protect it that well. This one I'm treating like a baby because I believe it's probably going to last 15 or 20 years. So I'm really going big on it this time by means of protection. but. As far as the silicon gasket, if you're leaking air, if you're leaking smoke between your firebox and your smoke chamber, you might want to do it. Red is kind of hideous, black would be better, but I don't know if how long it will last since it's right there on the fire where most of the fire is concentrated, in which we're going to talk about concentrated fire right now. Another do is to invest in a charcoal box. And what this does is it keeps all of your fire centrally located. Now I believe what shorten the lifespan of my other Oklahoma Joe is because I was having a lot of fires in that firebox and the coals would always end up next to the smoke chamber on that inside wall there and it eventually started to deteriorate the side of the, the firebox and so by investing in a charcoal holder the square holder that fits real nice and neat down inside the firebox I think it's going to add a tremendous amount of life so that's definitely a do I think you should extend your stack downward. What that does is allow more smoke and heat to penetrate your food. So if you notice in these smokers, the heat stack kind of comes into the side of the grill near the top, 
that's where the majority of the smoke and heat are anyway because hot air rises but if you'll take a three inch dryer vent I'm gonna leave the link in the description below if it'll just slide right into that stack and then you'll notice it comes all the way down to where your grates are so then are all of your food being penetrated by that smoke and heat another do in my case is to add a sear grate you don't have to do this and there's tons of different types of sear grate my particular sear grate is a Weber because it has a real nice diamond pattern to it but when you use this smoker as a grill it just has the porcelain grates and it doesn't give very good presentation but if you use a sear grate and you have that fire underneath it it really it really takes this smoker to the next level if you're interested in the one that I use I'll leave a link in the description and the video that I did a review on it as well I hope this video helped point something out in your direction and it maybe it helped you make a decision in some kind of way if you have any questions comments or concerns about anything i covered in this video go ahead and drop those down in the comment section we do reply to every comment that we get i certainly appreciate you stopping by and if you like things like diy scoops and real life reviews go ahead and feel free to like this video and subscribe to the channel for weekly content until next week this is real life reviews <music>